Preparation of reactants, sodium hydroxide. Firstly, prepare 4 liters of 0.02 molar of NaOH using 0.1 molar of NaOH solution. To achieve that, 800 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH solution is required. To prepare 4 liters of this solution, it is necessary to split it into two different runs. Therefore, 400 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH is added into the round bottom flask and you top it up to 2 liters using distilled water. Preparation of reactants ethyl acetate. Firstly, to prepare 4 liters of 0 0.02 molar of ethyl acetate using pure ethyl acetate solution. To achieve that, we require approximately 8 ml of pure ethyl acetate solution. Since we are preparing 4 liters of solution, it is necessary to split up it up into two different runs. Therefore, 4 ml of pure ethyl acetate solution is added into the round bottom flask and Top it up to 2 liters using distilled water. After preparation of the reactants, it is added into the two reactor tanks over here, followed by the connection of the tubes onto the reactor tanks. After this step, you will be required to turn on the power supply to the batch reactor using the plug. After which, it is necessary to turn on the power supply to the two pumps and the stirrer. Adjustment of pumps. Firstly, you turn the stroke length onto 20 for both pumps and you adjust the RPM using this button over here to 250 RPM. After which, you will be required to use both hands at the same time to turn on the pump. After which, you will be required to wait for the reactor to fill up to about 1000 or below the stirrer before you switch on the stirrer using this switch. Before the level reaches to the 2000 ml mark, you are required to insert the conductivity probe into the reactor to about the 2000 meter mark. After which, you will be required to wait for the reactor to fill up to about 2000 ml before you take the initial reading which is shown on this conductivity meter for 20 minutes at 1 minute intervals. After the level has reached 2000 ml, you are required to stop both pumps at the same time. After the 20 minute mark, you are required to turn off the stirrer using this switch and to remove the conductivity probe from within the reactor and to prepare a bucket for the draining of the solution using this valve. Followed by that, you are required to remove the pipings from the reactor tanks and to dispose of the solution within into the correct bin, which is guided by the TSOs. Shutting down of the reactor system. First, close the drainage valve, followed by the addition of 5 liters of DI water into the reactant tanks, which is located around here. You will be required to fill up both tanks up to the 5 liter mark. After which, you, will, you, you have to connect the tubings onto the reactant tanks. Followed by that step, you will be required to turn on both the pumps at the same time and to wait for the solution to fill up to about above the 2000 ml mark before turning on the stirrer.
After the 10 minute mark, you will be required to turn off the stirrer followed by the power supply for the three switches and the main power supply which is located around here, the batch reactor. Following that step, you are required to drain out all the solution from the reactor using the drainage valve. After this step, just do proper housekeeping and this is the end of the experiment.